Hey guys, down at the workshop for another video. Uh, been a long time between videos because we've been super busy at work. But uh, we've got the IS200 in here. And I uh, don't think I actually told anyone what we're planning to do with this car. So the Aristo was basically gone straight after that other video. Um, I was doing a giveaway in that video for whoever guessed what was happening. So I'll uh, go in the comments once probably before this video goes up and uh, let you guys know who actually got the right um, guess for that one. But anyway, we've got the 2J out of the Aristo here with all the bolt-ons and everything ready to go. And that bad boy is gonna go into this car. Um, we're just sorting out what sort of gearbox we're gonna put in it. Um, and then I'm gonna get all the bits and pieces I need for it because it's got the weird setup for the a uh, clutch fan, it's like a hydraulic clutch fan or something like that um, which I don't really understand so I'm going to get rid of that put a different water pump on it so I can put a normal clutch fan on it um, and then I'm not sure how far I'm going to go into it with going like single turbo and ECU and stuff like that yet I might just put it in relatively standard for now um, just to get the car driving and then see how we go from there and upgrade it from there gearbox, I'm not too sure yet I've got a CD09 over here, which I was thinking of maybe putting in, um, but a few people have told me not to do that, or whether or not I go an R154, um, I'm not too sure yet, but um, basically if I chuck it all in and like how it is, um, I'm going to spend a bit of money on it and end up making this my proper comp car, uh, maybe go sequential or G-Force or some sort of gearbox and maybe 400 odd kilowatts, a bit more power than the S13, so... Yeah, anyway, we've got a, a bit of an early Christmas present for the workshop. Um, I say Christmas present, I did order a couple of months ago, but we've been waiting to get it here. What we've got is a set of quarter weight scales. So this is going to be pretty handy. Obviously we do wheel alignments here as well, so we're going to be able to do that and set up the suspension at the same time. So, this is it here. What I'm going to do is we're going to weigh the IS200 as it is in stock form. Um, it's just got the 1G in it with the auto box and all the stock trim and everything like that. We're going to see what the corner weights are and the total weight, etc. And then we can see along the way of turning into a track car, um, what the mods that we do to it affect the weight and the balance of the car and uh, how much weight we can get out of it as well. So I've never used this before. We're going to chuck it all together and uh, learn how to use it. So we've got the scales, for some reason you've got to connect each scale to the right one. I assume that's so uh, each reading goes to the right one, but I don't know why the scales are actually different. So this is left rear, so put this over rear I guess. And then we've got right rear. Right front. Wait, that's the wrong way, isn't it? That's, yeah, that's definitely left side. Left front. And left front. Um, and then I guess we just find a central spot to put this. Alright, so we got it all plugged in, come over here, 
turn this bad boy on. I've already got it converted to kilos, I think. The rear right is saying 0.5 already, so I'm pretty sure we just hold zero. Zero it out. Now it's ready to go, so we're gonna lower it onto there with the jacks. No, we're not, because that one's on the on the stop. Can you get that? They're both gonna be in the stops. The safety's on. Alright, now we're lowering. Are we good on the other side? Sure, it's not jacked up anymore. There's a gap there, a gap there. Uh, normally, if you were setting up the suspension, you would uh, try and settle it. What I'm thinking of doing is making up something that's the same height as these to go through here, lower it onto those, and then roll it onto those, and you can roll it backwards and forwards to settle it. But we're not setting anything up, we're just checking how much it weighs. So, um, I'm gonna have a look. I'm not quite sure what I need to push here. Got to read the instructions. But I'm going to read the instructions and I'm going to get back to you. All right, back from reading the instructions. Now we've got the total weight on there. So total weight with no one in it is nearly 1,400 kilos. That's with, I don't think it's got any fuel in it. It's got like maybe a quarter of a tank in it. Um, and full trim, full everything. Uh, no driver in it though. So... I'm gonna sit in it. I think I'm a bit over 90 kilos a bit fat at the moment, but <laughs> Hopefully by the time this is a race car. I'm a little bit lighter and the car will be a little bit lighter as well um, Cross weight is actually pretty good. So this is your cross um, percentage, so that's the difference about uh, Your rear right to your left front and your left rear to your right front. That was very hard to say But that's what it is and it's at 49.5 percent. So it's almost 50 50 so that's not bad, but when I get in it, that's definitely going to change. Oh god. What did it change to? It's like just over, it's pretty much 50-50. 1491. So it says here, Whoa, what are you? I'm not great at maths. You're 94 kilos. Whoa. That's pretty Whoa, cool. you've put on. I was 92 before though. Oh no, nah, <laughs> depends depends when you're moving. Yeah, you're not you're not the slimmest bloke we know. <laughs> Cross is still pretty good though. 48 49%. Hasn't moved a lot. Back down to thirteen ninety seven. So that's pretty cool. Um, basically, just wanted to get a bit of a rough idea on what it's like stock, and then um, along the way of modifying this thing, we're going to see um, how much lighter we can make it, or maybe how much heavier we're going to make it with this bad boy because it's a lot bigger motor than the other one. So um yeah while we've got the scales we might have a bit of a play around with some of the other cars um in a future video i'll probably look at setting up the s13 a bit better um setting up the coilovers um all that sort of stuff uh, i want to do a video on setting up traction arms and stuff as well so i might do one big video on completely overhauling the suspension and setting it up properly because it's definitely not set up properly at the moment so let's um let's chuck a couple of other cars on here and see what it's like Six kilos heavier than you. Well, no, jump in. See if we can get this bad boy closer to 50-50. I mean, I get this car then, I'm driving because I'm better weight. <laughs> if you want me to jump in the back, let me know. Oh, I thought he was going to pump the 15. Oh, that's almost close. That's 100 kilos. 
100 kilos back on the dot. <laughs> That's 100 kilos yep. extra. Yep. I have 98.5. <laughs> You're not according to this. You're not right. oh, you, you just laughed and you jumped over the 1500. <laughs> <laughs> oh, take it easy. <laughs> Where do I need to sit to make it 50 50? I'm going to sit back left and see what happens. Is the back door open? Wait, why are you sitting back left? Yeah, why not? You can show me around. No, you just made it worse. Made it worse? Yep. Where do I need to sit? Let's get that perfect 50 50. <laughs> um. I'll, go, I'll, I'll swap where I am. Let's see what else you might do. Gotta go way over. Oh, you're close. Where are you? Rear right, rear right. Rear right. Uh, we're at 50.15. <laughs> Alright, that's enough playing with this one. Alright, so we decided to chuck the R32 on the scales, see what that comes up with. Um, the S13 is still on the trailer and we can't be worth getting that off, so we'll leave that to another day and uh, probably go through setting that up properly. So. The hoist actually needs to go up onto the lock because that is level, which will give us a better reading. So we'll chuck that on the first lock. That gives us our nice flat surface. Um, if you're doing it on the concrete floor, you probably want to make sure that's level as well. Get that nice and level. So we'll get this all set up and uh, come back to you. All right, so we've got it all set up. We'll lower it down onto the plates as long as the safeties aren't on. Make sure that's clear underneath, which it is. All right. Now, what does everyone think it's going to weigh? It's a obviously R32. Um, it's got fiberglass skirt, uh, not skirts, fiberglass front guards, uh, metal bonnet, standard sort of kit. Um, it's been stripped out. It's got a standard passenger seat, bucket seat, and a cage. No rear seats, no uh, carpet or anything like that. Nothing under the dash and nothing in the boot. Um, you weren't meant to look at it. You're meant to have a guess, so your guess is out. Oh, shit, what, guess. what are you guessing? 1161. Well, You've got to guess something specific. I think I'm going to go with 1200. He's, he's ruined it now, he can't guess he's because said, he's already I looked at it. Guess. <laughs> what would your guess have been if you hadn't seen it? I was going to say like 1100. Alright, well, it's probably 1100 because you've already seen it. No. Hey! 12.39. So what's the winner get? I don't have to pay for the dinner. Pop. Who was the furthest off? You're actually the furthest off and you knew what it was. So it looks well, like you're paying gonna, for dinner. I'm not gonna cheat. <laughs> Joke's on you, I don't have any money. And the um, cross weight's pretty good actually. Not when Kane gets in the driver's seat. Yeah. Uh, get in there fatty, see what happens. It's an effort just to get in it. <laughs> oh, you didn't move the seat back. That's uh... That's gonna be some favour in my way. Put that 98.5 kilos of fury in here. Oh, we're nearly at two ton now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shut the door. We're at 49.2. So, not too bad. So now we've got these bad boys, we can make some um, suspension adjustments and uh, get everything dialed in. Um, but to be fair, that's actually pretty close. So once we learn how to use these things, it's going to be good fun to, to have a play around with. I think I'm a lot more excited about them than everyone else is. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll probably end up weighing all the cars and setting them up, adjusting ride heights to suit, 
any more weight to the rear for more grip or whatnot and uh, evening everything up but um, I think we're gonna head to the pub we've had enough tonight we haven't really done anything but yeah Good pub time. what do you reckon pub time guys pub pub, pub. pub. <laughs> alright anyway hope you're excited for uh, some of the things to come and uh, we'll see you all later <laughs>